Hi everybody, a very warm welcome uh, to my documentary. This is going to be my 13th short documentary I have ever produced about Kanyakumari district, the historical places in Kanyakumari. Thank you so much for watching my documentaries in Kanyakumari Video Hub page in Facebook and my YouTube channel. It's all because of your encouragement, your motivation, your positive comments that has stimulated me to make more and more videos. Thank you so much for that. About today's destination, we are planning to visit uh, some of the historical locations in Kanyakumari, which are um, related to the life story of Devasahayam Pillai, one of the very popular personality who hail from Kanyakumari. When you talk about Devasahayam Pillai, it is believed that he was executed by the then Travanku state for upholding his Christian faith. In contrast to this view, there are some others who believe that Devasahayam Pillai was accused of treason for divulging some of the uh, secrets, state secrets to um, enemies and rivals. So now I invite you to watch this documentary about Devasahayam Pillai as we walk along, as we travel along. Uh, please follow us in, in our exploration uh, in this historic journey. Thank you. Devasahayam Pillai was born into a Hindu family at Natalam in the present day Kanyakumari district on 23rd April 1712. His original name was Nilaganda Pilla. His parents were Vasudeva Namputari and Devaki Amma. Pillai was an official in the court of King of Travancore, Maharaja Matanda Verma. He came under the influence of Dutch naval commander Eustatius Dillonoy, who instructed him in the Catholic faith. The remains of the ancestral house of Devasahayam Pillai can still be seen at the village of Natalam. The house of Devasahayam Pillai is being renovated by the Catholic Church who now owns the property. His descendants are living in the neighborhood and we got the opportunity to meet them. the water sprout at Pulikurichi is believed to have quenched Devasaheim's thirst while he was being taken to be executed. Villa, a place situated near to Pavadipuram, also witnessed the persecution of Devasahayam Pillai. We are going to Devasahayam Pillai. We are going to Devasahayam Pillai. We are going to Devasahayam Pillai. We are going The trip to Arulvai Mori prison was indeed a very exciting one. Friends, we are struggling to find out uh, the way to RLY Murichira. Uh, it's, it's the prison where um, Devasahayam Pillai was kept. This is a place where 
We believe uh, Deva Sahayam Pillai was kept in, uh, in custody. Exploration is still in progress. Hope we can find that. Thank you Sridaj for uh, coming with me today because it is something uh, interesting, you know, exploring such places, uh, you know, uh, uh, there were a lot of thorny bushes over here. Next, we travel towards Kachari Malai, the place where Pillai was executed. Martanavarma Maharaja Vindya Kalpana Prakharyam, Atehetne Chuttu Vellunno Ennola Reedil, Ariya Pudishu. Adhan Ennisa Richa Paddeyam Barajan, Ennikki Avasana Maayitte, Muttu Kutti Prathik Enam Ennola Reedil, Rabaisha Vodukkayim. Abesha Bragaram, Ida Kana, the Kalilana, Ada Mutuguti, they were told to practice you in the Ridirana, Parepada. Finally, on 14th January 1752, David Sahayam Pillai was killed by Travancore soldiers. Each year, hundreds of people from far and wide visit these historical places at Kachari Malai. Merlin son. A rock which is located near to the place where Pele was executed produces bell-like sound when knocked with stone. Deva Sahayam Pillai was buried at the Cathedral of St. Francis Xavier in Nagakoil. People like Deva Sahayam Pillai had made their places secure in the pages of modern-day history and also in the hearts of many. Though they have come and gone, the places related to their lives still remains. How true is the saying recorded at Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 4. A generation is going and a generation is coming, but the earth remains forever. <laughs>